Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Tiny Tactics, a hybrid tower defense and auto chess style game, which are two genres I love a lot, and also a genre combo that I think is absolutely ripe for exploration. This game has a 97% positive rating on Steam right now, and I'm very curious because it seems like a recipe for success for, for me. It says it has 121 different units and towers. Oh my god, what the hell? The rule of the devoted ended with the sun's death. Okay. The unguided creative energy from her husk has begun transforming the land. Is that a tomato, man? Pockets of her power concentrated into crystals, giving birth to new life forms. The most destructive life forms are seeking out the power of crystals, gaining more strength. So single-mindedly that they will walk in a line undeterred to get to a crystal, I bet. The old laws are gone without rulers. The people have gathered into factions to protect the home. Their home, they need to obtain the power of crystals. Oh, fair enough. And that's it. Oh, that's it. I'm with it. <laughs> Give me that exact amount of lore and then just move on. I'm down with that. Uh... Also, it seems like there's like a lower reason for the traits in an auto chess style game. To be clear, if you know what uh, auto battlers are, auto chess is kind of like, you know, the sub genre that's kind of more like uh, team fight tactics, Dota, Underlord, stuff like that, where you have a shop and you need to buy units, upgrade them, combine them and make like a bunch of traits get upgraded, everything like that. You know, also like uh, Just King uh, we played recently, that kind of thing. Two units of the same star level combine into a unit with a higher star level, up to three stars. Good deal. Uh, but, yeah, 121 different different units and towers is wild. And 74 different levels, all focusing on, uh, like, unit composition and mazing. Very, very neat. Okay. Music is wild. Okay, so we can... So it's only two to upgrade, too, which is neat. Okay, this is our bench down here. Drag and drop units on the bench from the bench onto the maze. Champions with the scout trait can go in bushes. Do we have a scout? Spartans and knights. Okay, we don't we don't have anything yet. So that's their AOE. All right, well, we can't really do anything too great right now, but I'm going to hope that they're not going to get me killed in the first tutorial with the only options I have. That's... I'm going to assume that that'll be the case. Okay. So to... So that's a three-star. That is... Okay, okay, okay. So it also said scouts can go in bushes. Okay. So, gotcha. I... Is there a way to... Tavern locked? I can't click this. I can't do anything to lock the shop, it seems. But now we got this guy who's a three-star. We also... This is really handy. Having the uh, the little thing up here. And the tower defense game is going to be a little bit different because the positioning is so unbelievably crucial. Okay, so we just... we just I think it's just the tutorial because... we're not, That or we're going to unlock more units in the future because we definitely don't have 121 different options right now. So we have knights. This is up here. Okay, we got our traits. Knights gain bonus attack damage for every knight you have. So two knights would give us 12 attack damage on all knights. Four would give us 23. Okay, and then scouts. Scouts can be placed off terrain. This is so. This is such a clever thing. Like, obviously we can't put them here because then they can't finish the maze. Like that blue path, I'm going to assume. If I hit next, yeah, it doesn't allow. Uh, good, it, sh it shouldn't. <laughs> Combine Divine Mage. Divine Mage inspires nearby units, giving them Spartan buff and increasing ability power. What, well, it gives them the Spartan trait? Spartans deal extra magic damage? That is really interesting. Hold on. So everything around them is going to get the Spartan buff. Whether or not they... I mean, they already had it, I guess. Hmm. Okay. It's not, it's not, not that big of a deal. But it also gives them increased ability power. Okay. I really like these traits so far. Like, the, that, the trait of that is a very smart way to not just be like... Oh, here is a standard uh, auto chess trait, but it happens to be in a tower defense game. It's like, how do we how do we make a trait that is actually truly powerful and unique to a tower defense game? Being to put being able to put them completely off the field is incredible. That that's such a powerful ability. 
Spend earned crystals on the talent tree to unlock additional bonuses. This is not a rogue like or a rogue light in the same you know in the sense. So I don't really mind meta progression in a game like that. Uh, unlock additional free rerolls. How do I put all my points in that, please? Unlocks the tavern. So we also. Oh, you also unlock the ability to get different... There's three levels, so different types of targeting. So next tier units target the last enemy. So we could do... I'm assuming it's first at a basic. Like most tower defense games start at first. Imbues a specific unit with increased attack speed, attack damage. Inspires all units in place. Are these... These are like active abilities that we can get or something? That's really interesting. I also like that they... um. After the tutorial, they give you enough crystals to get the two things they say, and then to experiment with one thing. We can even unlock more units. Unlocks trappers. So there's four trappers. You unlock four hunters, four champions, four druids, four charts. Oh my word. Uh, yeah, more rerolls, and I don't know what the tavern is. That that we're gonna have to see. Let's go ahead and get let's get increased attack speed because I want to see what exactly like if we get that, we'll, we'll learn how it works in general. Bonus objective, win with at least six knights. So that's just a bonus. What, what would we get for that? Another crystal or... Or hua? Make enemies take longer by blocking their path to the crystal. Okay. Well, yeah, if it wants us to go knights, like, who am I to say no to an extent? Win with at least six knights. I don't know, man. I could. Do we have any synergies that we see here? Oh, dang, you weren't kidding about a, a whole bunch of units. So I'm curious to see the tavern, what that's about. But also the fact that we get a bunch of potential free rerolls will help with the amount of units being so diluted, potentially. Leecher gives a random nearby unit the echo buff, but reduces its magic damage. What is the echo buff? Oh, the e echo is whatever apparently that this is. My guess is echo is like uh, cast their abilities twice or something. But reduced magic damage, kind of like, you know, uh, what is it? Mages in Teamfight Tactics. Marine Lancer. We, we have no duplicate traits across the board here, which is terrifying and exciting. Uh, if it wants me to go knights, I guess I'll go a little bit knights. Um, try and fish for an extra knight here. So what are you? You are Spartans. Okay, we actually, did we have another, do we have a Spartan? Okay, so we'll do, we'll do a little bit amazing as a treat here. A little bit amazing as a treat. We can uh, try and make them go around here. So what is the knight bone or uh, Spartan bonus again? Magic damage. Lancer. Oh, Lancers get an additional range. That's like really useful because we could have them be right here and they would still be able to hit uh, the full circle here. That is something I will probably look into getting. We could apparently buy another thing here. We could go for a reroll, try and fish for another Lancer or something because it was, it was free. We might as well. Guard. Like. Does it really... Okay, so how many is that? That's... That is six. This is one, two, three, four. We might as well do this then. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Tiles of attack. Oh, this is gonna be a problem for me, man. I will say, I, I came in to check out, like, literally just the, um... Whether or not this worked. There is a base filter on that I actually really... I enjoy tilt shifts in games here. Like, this is at a base. This is on. Um, it's kind of like to help make the units look a little bit more like toys. That being said, I found it impossible to see the units that I placed back here. So, like, I really like it. I really like it, and I love the effect. I think it needs to be toned down a little bit up here, or your units need to, like... I don't know. Like, I think maybe, maybe if it was toned down a bit, that'd be something. Okay, so is this a different unit? This is Guang Keeper, Knight and Lancer. And we could do something like that. And then we'd have to block this one. Eradicator. Wait. Another Knight and another Lancer? Oh my word. It's my Lancer. So it says he has a bonus range, but it's not like showing up there. Range two, range two. Yeah, I, I'm gonna trust, I'm gonna trust you. I'm gonna trust you that you're actually gonna be hitting there. Uh, a Lancer being here is actually really good. That covers up all of that range there. Y 
you theoretically hit all the way over here. I think this is okay. If, again, like, I'm going to turn down the speed. Why are you so dang dummy thick? What the hell? Okay, are you attacking? Yeah, they are attacking the ones over here. So it is accurate. It is accurate indeed. Yeah, that, pl that plus one range. Really nice. Uh, okay, so we're sitting, like, really pretty right now. Four Knight, three Lancer, three Spartan. I, I enjoy that immensely. Normal Light Tavern. Tavern updates on the next one. I, okay. So what do we want to do? We could try and reroll, find more of the same. Try and go for, like, a six Lancer or something like that. Or we could obviously get upgrades. There's nothing wrong with just having the units be better. We should replace this. Because he is a two-star now. He's going to be a little bit stronger. It seems like the uh, the level one units are basically, for the most part, just stat sticks. That are... No, I guess it's just some units. Some units in tier one are just kind of stat sticks. Like, they're there to activate traits. But I think that maybe, uh, like, the two stars and stuff like that, or the, the two costs, are going to be doing something a little bit spicier. Ralion... Increases the attack speed of all towers within range. By the way, what is... Ah! One gold increases unit's attack speed? Okay, I buffed you. Ability is active. Was that... T is it temporary? And it did take... It takes a gold. Curious. Very, very, very curious. What do I want to get here? We have a reroll if we want. Hunter, Scout, Berserker, Immortal. I have no, like, outstanding um, different abilities there, but Scouts are tempting because we can slap them right in here. This, we lose one on the left over here, but we gain three on the right. 4 97 Ignite the air around him, applying unholy mark to all nearby enemies. Unholy mark, that must be something with the uh, the trait. Hunters gain increased attack speed with every continuous blow on the same target. Okay. It seems nice. This music is going potentially too hard. <laughs> but hey. So Divine Archer not doing a ton of damage, but the thing is their range is so good that they will probably... If everything made it all the way around, they would probably be in a much better spot. Eradicator sounds good to me. Okay. So what do we have? Uh, I don't have another hunter. Spartans, I could get this guy. Shield Iron. Shield Iron calls hammers from the sky, stunning all enemies within range. Which is a range of two. 100 mana, mana per attack 10. Okay, so yeah, that, that's auto chest style rules where if he attacks 10 times, he will get his spell. Uh, not a bad idea. Ooh. Ooh, what a spicy spot for something. If we're only buying one more unit, that's a really spicy spot. That's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That is a 7 hit for uh, for this right here. Literally as good as it can get. Tavern available? What is this? Requ <gasps> Request a class. Okay. Give me... Holy God. Feed me some knight. Oh! What? Okay. Knight and Razor. Shoot. Hepping guard. Um, shoot. Maybe it'll stay? I feel like I doubt it. Tap the eye icon and space to toggle the shop. Creating long maze is the most important step to completing any level. There. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so we have brawler and hunter kind of hanging out. Denouncer. Oh, the tavern's still available. Okay, so we can get this guy. Eh. It, it's, it's for the best, though. It's for the best, though. This guy gets it for... One, two, three, four, five, six. You know. 
it's about as good as it gets. But it's it's not almost it's not as good as it gets, but it's about as good as it gets there. And we can have another unit attacking like an entire time here. Like this is this is the optimal way to have this. For everything but everything but the Divine Archer. To the point where it might be better to put you here. Maybe? Maybe not. Do scouts do more damage while they're in the if you have four scouts, they gain an extra range and extra 10% damage when they're off terrain. Okay. Okay, okay. Denouncer is an idea. Razor, we're one off now. I'll buy this because I think I can probably sell. Ooh. Project beta. Tell you what, can we like... What did I just do? I just press E. Sell. I didn't, though. What did I sell? What did I just sell? I think I cheated. Interesting. I think I, I, think I cheated on accident here. I think I press unknowingly pressed the hotkey to sell while I was holding it and it didn't sell, which I'm... I could be wrong. I could just... I could be wrong. Maybe I sold, like, a buff or something? So this is a one-time thing. Alright. I'm liking the setup. The setup is pretty juicy. Hit me with that ability. Give me that stun. Hit me with that stun, dude. Oh! God, that's nice. This is gonna be a problem. I also think we're playing with some of like the uh, the most straightforward, basic units here. Looking for one more knight. Okay. All right. Let's uh let's go for something else then. Razor brawler berserker. Just, just another kind of like stat stick unit. I sold my sh okay. I sold my uh my sniper. Even though I was holding this unit, I sold them. That's... I don't know what that's about. Do I have to, like... Ah. So you, like, click to, like, select. Uh, but apparently holding a unit is not selecting them. I feel like if you hold the unit, it should auto-select. Right? Probably. All right. Well, I guess I'm looking for that unit again. It was, what, Scout and Hunter? It didn't help us with any synergies we had anyways. Not that big of a deal. Uh... Eradicator. Don't mind if I do. Lancers get an extra one to their range, which means something like this is pretty solid for them. Because he can theoretically... First of all, he can theoretically hit over here. Second of all, he can theoretically hit all the way around this. Devoted Sniper. Lancer... Lancer Brawler. Okay. Okay. So, okay, we have to adjust our idea for what we're doing with this path. We have to move it up one. Because we want to be able to go bat bat. We have two slots right here. All right, what are we missing? Assassin, Razor, we could do something with that. What is Razor? Razor do 300% bonus attack damage to enemies near death. Two makes it so near death is 20%. Okay. Brawlers deal more attack damage to weaker enemies. Okay, so where are my brawlers? Brawler. Brawler. Okay, they're, they're near the end. You're not, though. Uh, do I... Technically, I should probably have them near the end. That's a pretty good one. But yeah, te technically, I should have them near the end. Yeah, Razor, Razor, and and Brawl are our end slot boyos. We could get all the way up to uh oh the next stack. Well, no, we can't. Do we not have a ruined guard? It's hard to tell sometimes with some of these. Okay. It's 
What were you? You were a an assassin. We actually don't know what assassin is. I'm gonna take a hot guess and say it is. Since the person playing has clearly played TMD, I'm gonna say that it's gonna be chance to crit. Also, that's pretty standard assassin fare. Get a chance to do a crit. Yep. After five attacks, Berserkers enter a frenzy that lasts four seconds. I mean, this one seems more like one that you would go all in on. Because it, all these traits that generally only affect one unit, you typically don't want to go, like, super Omega in on, right? Unless you're going to have a lot of them. Bounty Hunters gain gold for completing bounties. Well, I mean, that's kind of nice. Marine crits. Crit every four attacks. Ooh. Okay, so what are we sitting at then? We could get Bounty Hunter. What's your range? Range four. I think we might need something like that. We could do something like this, this, dat. It's not bad. So now we have Bounty Hunter. What's Unholy? Unholy units attacks mark an enemy for five seconds. Marked units then explode on death, dealing magic damage to nearby enemies. I mean, that seems good. Inquisitor, Knight, and Razor. We are officially, like, out of slots, though. Well, not quite. Knight and Lancer. I mean, you could attack... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, because you're a Lancer. We're one off of getting plus 2 range for Lancers as well, which might be more worth going for. I guess I'm not, not too sure what I have you for. I, I've got one extra on Spartans. We could ditch a Spartan Knight. Razor and Bounty Hunter, Knight Razor. Marine Lancer, Spartan Brawler. This is not the worst swap out. Because we lose a semi-redundant Spartan plus one, and then we get the razor benefit that makes it so the near-death marker is at 35%. Okay. Still one off for having the amount of knights we need. We have one more reroll we could do there. At this point, I think I'm I think I'm think either just looking for a scout so I could just put him in the bushes, or I can um, go for knights. Trapper, marine, pummeler. Holy moly. Places a chain trap on the path that tethers a unit walking over, pulling the unit to the trap at the end of a timer. Oh my god. Sentences an enemy to death, executing enemies under the threshold. Alright. Shoot the furthest enemy with a sidearm, dealing attack damage. Increase up to 1,200 points based on missing attack points. Holy moly, son of a goalie. Uh, I think we are gonna just... We, we can't really do anything. Like, I could re-roll for kicks and wiggles, but it doesn't seem like we've unlocked the ability to lock the shop. Seems like that's something that happens over the course of time. But I, I'm pretty satisfied with this. Like, our, a lot of our power is um, really backloaded here. So, it may look grim. Like, things may make it kind of far. Have it available. Spartan Knight. I'm happy to do that. Oh, but now he's upgraded. Do I have some, don't I have somebody else who's literally a Spartan and a knight? I do. What's the difference between you two? Nothing. There's no difference between those two units. I think it's because, I mean, it makes sense. I think it's sort of like the basic class. And that's kind of like the uh, go wide and, and try and beat everybody else through literally having more stats, I guess. I think that that's more what they're for. I kind of want Lancer. I really want Knight. I would love, love, love just free level ups. Razor and Scout. Don't mind if I do. It's a better spot for you. That's pretty good. Amorax, Berserker, Razor. We have a Berserker, Brawler... If we could ditch something, Assassin Razor? I can't. If I could ditch something that's not a Razor, Spartan Brawler. Uh, ah. 
Marine Lancer. I don't know. We got. We have to make a tough decision about which thing we really want to be going for here. Because th this guy's a... Oh, I don't have enough money for him anyways. And I can't lock the shop. So never mind. We might as well reroll once, see if we can get a level up. Oh, God. Is there really no la like locking ability? Redraw, toggle DPS, toggle tavern, detail view, menu. Yeah, I'm going to take a wild crack and say... Also, I wish I could move this up. Maybe if I sold you. I mean, I don't want to because you're a Spartan Lancer. But uh, I'm going to take a wild crack and say that maybe as uh, as we level up. Who is Nova? Ooh. Oh, that's you. Okay, so that's why you got so far up there. A little bit spooky near the end there. Spartan Pummeler. I don't really have a whole lot of Pummelers right now. Save up a, a bit of our money. I'm kind of hoping for Knight and Bounty Hunter. Do we have somebody who's here just to be a bounty hunter? Kind of you, yeah? You're the most redundant of them. Oh, that's nice. Interesting, okay. I could put a Lancer in that spot. Spartan Brawler, Marine Lancer. I mean, I do like you there, though. Do I have any Lancers in, like, not that exciting spot? No, we, all of our Lancers are, are in the correct spot for Lancers. Knight and Bounty Hunter. I mean, that's that's very desired, though. Razor Scout. I mean, you can stay there. The Scouts, we, we can... That's the fun thing about Scout. You can kind of just have them. I don't love this spot, though. What do you do? Executes his target dealing magic damage based off of missing hit points. You are very much a unit to have near the end. Then. And I want a Lancer there. Yeah, Lancer, Lancer. Those make a lot of sense for Lancers. That's those spots, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten Lancer spots versus like a one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, it's, it's equal. A Lancer there is in a good spot. This is such a good, I don't know, man. It's, that's, it's difficult. It is really difficult. Let's get a level up there, I suppose. Assassin Razor. I guess I don't even really need you. Spartan and a knight. Guess I don't really need you right now either. Immortal Lancer. We could just we could just uh accept that we have four razor. I kinda like that call for now. Okay, so now Lancers have plus two range, so now everything is out the freaking window. Looking for level ups mostly. I don't know if we want to spend rerolls. Because now that we're at the spot where units actually cost a lot. Okay, so what's here? You're a, a Braxus. What's that? What is that ability? Range down spears, causing magic damage. It's he's not in the best spot, actually, then. Ooh, it's getting a little bit too close for comfort. Kronos. There to basically just make sure nothing makes it through. I'm going to also say we're looking for scouts now because they just, like, fill up our slots. Captain, Spartans, and Knight. Is that another one? Or wait, was that the one we sold? Spartan Brawler. I think we saw that. Devoted Bounty Hunter. All right, we, we got to stop just, like, doing something here. Are we pretty satisfied with this? Six, six, four, three, three, two, one. We're pretty darn clean on the point there with all of those. That being said, are we going to be able to make it all the way to round 20? We're on 10 out of 20. I don't know if we're going to make it there. Unless, like, we're going to need some pretty hefty upgrades. Yeah, this is looking grim. Kronos is, like, awesome, obviously, but, like... Again, this is this is what's terrifying about this. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Yeah, see, I don't know if we're going to make it. 
How would we? How would I assume we were gonna make it with that being uh, how that went at this point? Okay, so Lancer and Spartans. Knight and Razor. Too many, like, low-cost things. I is it more important to get two-star units or something? Spartans and Knight. Knight and Lancer. I could get rid of a Marine Lancer, because... Yeah, I think I, I think I don't need a Marine Lancer when I could have this guy who's going to get the uh, the night buff. I also think that this guy can go in a spot. Lancer Brawler. I think I'd rather have you here. Maybe? Maybe? The plus two range thing now, like, kind of, it janks up everything. Because it'd be bang, bang. So, no, bang, bang, bang. So, if I put him here, it'd be bang, bang, bang. He would be able to attack all of those if he was right here. But then it's like, then what the hell do I do with these guys? You're in a great spot. You're in a great spot. Bang, bang, bang. Theoretically. But that just makes it so you... Oh, you have... Oh my god, you have one range. Holy crap, you only attack literally bang, bang, bang. Gotcha. Holy moly. Alright. Hoping for some upgrades then. Marine Brawler, Devoted Spartans. Assassin Bounty Hunter. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 ay. What are you? Spartan Lancer. Devoted Mage, no thank you. Spartan's knight. Do we have a we, we have a Spartan knight that's just like a guy, don't we? I mean you. Lancer, Spartan, Knight Lancer, Knight Lancer. Do we only have one? I think we only have one that's just a just a guy. But he's a two star. Is that worth it? Probably. What's your ability? Spins rapidly dealing magic damage to all nearby enemies. For three seconds. I mean, that seems like a great call. Alright, I feel like I just really want to stop re-rolling. Alright, I am I was just worried because we leaked last round. But maybe, I think that the, the readjustments so that some of my spear boys can do a little bit more action from further are going to be pretty beneficial. Okay, yeah, no, we're, we're doing better now. We're doing way better now. All good. Oh, freaking good. Shield Maiden, sure. Nova. Razor Bounty Hunter. Where the hell do I even have you? Do I need you? Maybe. Pretty much just taking any upgrades I can find right now. Tavern's available. Hunter Scout. There's that Divine Archer I had from before. I'm glad to have you back. Scout Affliction. There we go. What does that do? Uh, explosive projectiles, AOE damage, throws a projectile, causing magic damage, and applying it slow. Great. I feel like I'd rather have you here, then. I'll do one reroll. Uh-oh. Oh, I had a dupe! I had a dupe this whole time! Okay. It's hard to tell sometimes when you have a dupe, because a lot of them look pretty similar, I'm not going to lie. So Eradicator doing some, some silly work. I think I might want to move him to a more ideal locale. Oh, we're doing, we're doing work now, man. Oh, that sound though. Bow. Wild. Okay. Good deal. Well, I mean, if we get the plus two, I guess I probably want you, like, here. Because then it'd be... This is such a... Actually, a prime spot. Once... So it's normally here, up to here, up to here. So... Or is this, like, a truly good spot? One, two, three... 
bat, 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 bat. I mean, that's really good. That is a really good spot now. God, this... <laughs> Without, like, a good, clean way to quickly scroll through and see our ranges and everything, it's gonna be, it's, like, a little tough to... Roshan, definitely. I think we keep those. I think we keep those. We say... Just say go. Just try and watch everything. Watch the DPS charts as much as we can. Now that we have, like, some of the scouts in the bushes to take over those slots, it's a pretty good thing. My concern with the scouts is, like, it seems like you maybe should just always have some scouts then, right? I guess the issue would be, like, can you afford it? That's, that'd be the only issue. Mage devoted. I'm noticing a, a lack of high-cost knights and, like, knights and spartans. I think it's, like, an early game transition class guard spartan knight i don't think i need to just slot in one for the sake of it that being said i have the shield iron here we could why would i care though why would i care to it's not going to put me over any limit hunter why would i care not really affliction damage deals damage faster I don't know if that's actually going to matter. Uh, Scout, we're one off. I would rather have a dupe Lancer. Spartan Knight, Berserker Razor. That could be worth it. Slashes all units on the map who are near death for a hundred. Okay, well, I'll take you. Yes. You do a stun. It's pretty important to me that you get that ability off. Okay. God, this is <laughs> it's tight. All right, all right, all right. So, Berserker Razor. Let's just take a look here. Oh, God, that, that doesn't help as much as I was hoping. <laughs> um, you're there. You do the stun, which is really tempting to have up in front of something. The denouncer is, like, he's, he's weird, man. I think we just send it. We have four mana, I think, or four gold. I think that's okay. I don't want to reroll and then we get a four cost and we can't lock. You know what I'm saying? We can't lock whatever four cost we see and then we're just like, ah, shoot. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cast your ability? No? It, I did, well, it seems like it probably probably worked. I just didn't really see it. Spartan Mage. I guess we didn't see one of those yet. Uh, Lancer. Oh my god, a Lancer Scout. Buscuse. Okay. A Lancer Scout is pretty exciting. Pummeler Slayer. I'm assuming you just... Do you have any ability? Thrust a spear piercing through enemies. Uh... Oh, God. Is there any real good, like, line? I can't put you... Oh, I can put you here? Huh. Don't think I want to. Good to know, though. Good one we roll here. Devoted Spartan. Gains cleave for eight seconds, hitting three targets per attack. Definitely tempting. Do we have any dupes? I don't even know if we we, we might have a we might have a dupe on the field, and it's just kind of hard to tell. It is I'll be honest, it's very hard to tell. Uh, shield iron, Amorex. Abraxas. Eridar, Lord of the uh, Burning Legion. Okay. Um. Hmm.
There's a double devoted Spartan situation. But I don't want to sack my knights because it's our it's our special bonus. So I'd have to like I don't know what would I sack it. I could sack you. Go down one on uh, on Razor. We could go down one on what what else? Who do I have bounty hunter on? Who's my second bounty hunter? Is there a way I can like? You're my second bounty. Oh shoot! It's a knight. We can we could reduce. We could get rid of a, a Lancer and one Razor. So... Oh, God. I don't know if I love this idea, but I'm going to do it. I'm doing it now. Okay. So what do you do? Enters Divine State for eight seconds. One star gain a, a range. No, you are you're bothering me, Mister. What does Odin do? That's the one who gains cleave. So who's the other one? Knight Razor. Yeah, you're the one to get rid of. Ooh, ooh, he's got a base range of three. My boy, my beautiful boy. Oh, you're a Knight Razor too. Could have got rid of you. That's okay. All right, I think we're. I think I'm. I think I'm good with this. So we now have six Spartan. Wait, we went down to five Knight. Wait, what? Are one of you not knights? Oh, you're Spartans, not... Oh, my God, you're Spartans, not knights. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right, let's... uh, Spartans... Sorry. There's so many classes, and Spartans and knights in my head, like, feel like the exact same thing. They feel like the exact same thing. We can make that work. That being said, I wanted to see what the divine thing was. And honestly, it looks like we're only going to be doing one anyways in this video. So, I like, maybe I don't really care if I don't meet my whatever criteria. We can just try out more units that way. There is some overlaps in the sound effects that are quite loud. I will grab you there. Oops, I didn't... Oops. Whatever that was, I didn't mean to get it. We could literally just buy a, just buy a knight and slap it in on the last wave. And then we could just play around with it. Devoted! Burn the target for three seconds, dealing affliction damage. Great. Good. That's a three-star, boy -o. Yeah, let's just let's just keep hitting next for now. So we've got slightly thicker units here. Oof. Yeah, whatever. Okay. The sound effects are fine. That one is just really loud. Whatever that boom is is too much. Seems like they maybe he have like a little bit of healing over time or something. Kind of just looking for upgrades at the moment. I have so much money. Hilda. Oh, leveling you up gave you extra range. Okay, good. Because I was not super happy with that location. This is, this is tough because it's like there's so many things where I'm like, oh, this looks this is so suboptimal. But like, the truth is, it's just like yes, it kind of has to be. Not every single unit can be in an optimal spot in a tower defense game. So it's just like trying to manage who is doing good work. Oh, it's you. Is it you? I wish we could move this buff. Maybe we can. How are we doing? Roshan is... Dyson. A cell... A Selen? Who is that? Who was that? Odin. Which one was that? Who's... You? Wait. You? Ooh. Good to know. Maybe you should be in a better spot then. If you're doing that much work just from there. I'm gonna slap you right here. It should be a better spot, I, th I think... With the plus two range. Wop, wop. So one, two, three, four, five. Six. One, 
two, three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That should be that should be colossal. Brunhilde. Yeah, do we just I think we just slap in I think we we do a little bit of a cheeky slap in on the last wave. Shield Maiden. Selen apparently is very good. Just like except that I might leak on the last wave, but I probably won't die by swapping in one specific unit. This guy's probably gonna be doing work. If he's not topping the, the boards. And he has he has access to everything for the whole map too. Roshan though. Roshan though! It's gonna start to fall off now, obviously. Because he can't target they can't target anything else. Uh Violax. Okay. One more. Brynhildr is more important, I think. I wish I could get you. I guess I could if I sell the shield maiden. Good. And then we'll just... <laughs> we gotta figure out who we're gonna replace for the guard so that we can get the knight buff and get the... And technically get the final uh, achievement thing we need. Okay. Oof. Roshan with the AoEs right there. Who is then... Yeah, it, it, the thing is, it looks incredible, but then it would fall off. Okay, this, this is our final wave. We gotta find one unit. Night Razor. Uh, is there anything that is redundant? Bounty Hunter is redundant at this point. I wish I could just hover over that. Uh, I can hover over this. Oh, it'd be Razor too. Who's here just to be a Spartan? I can't get rid of you. Spartan Lancer, Spartan... Spartan Brawler... Oh, but he's a three-star! I'm not gonna get rid of you! I don't really want to get rid of a Lancer, so... Uh... Ay, ay, ay. I think it's just gonna have to not really matter. We're gonna, we're gonna have to just ditch something that I really don't want to just so that we can get this technically get this achievement done or whatever it is uh, I can't I can't lose Lancer I cannot lose Lancer don't really want to lose Devoted I feel like I could learn I feel like I could lose Brawler but I I feel like I could lose Brawler but I just ah I hate that. Whatever. It's the final wave. Please don't tell me that makes the freaking... I have 16 bucks left. I feel like I'm going to be fine. I genuinely feel like I... I feel like I stabilize well enough. Like, Roshan's going to do some silly work here now. As soon as her ability pops off... Like, this wave is made for us. For, for Roshan. Silly, silly damage. You're here to execute anybody under a certain amount of HP. Yeah, it, it didn't matter. And technically, I did the bonus. Oh, shoot! You gotta get a perfect... Uh, if you lose any HP, you don't get the triple crystals. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But we get more stuff here. Very neat. Unlocks a ta uh, second tavern slot. What, is, what do you mean? What do you mean my second slot? Oh, like... Oh, okay. This, this is such a smart way to uh, counteract... Um, champion pool bloat so like every certain waves you will you will get two units of the class you want at max you'll get five units of the class you want every x waves like that's that or it's maybe like the final ones like um it happens slightly more often or something this is super neat this is really really cool um but i like yeah i like the idea of these different things too Frost slowing enemies, fire on every attack, 1% life damage, sure. Like, I just, yeah, I like the idea of having these. We can be, like, a little bit more specific with it. There's so many different builds that you clearly could do. 121 units. 
74 different unique abilities so it's quite a bit of units that like all, a lot of the level one units that are just there to be um to help create ways to get the traits but there's still 74 you like truly different truly truly different units that are not just different uh, traits but that being said a base unit like a unit that just i do an attack that has two completely different traits is actually a completely different unit so it is worth mentioning uh 28 different traits is is nuts 19 unique enemies including enemies with including new enemies new enemies with abilities okay we didn't get to the point where we saw ability enemies really like there was kind of the one that had um healing over time i think but yeah 74 different levels with unique amazing challenges and ah and enhancement tiles so further down the line there's going to be tiles that you can place units on that will like upgrade them campaign map that has talents to provide unlocks unit power like things to power up units other enhancements i like the way that that's done the fact that we buy the ability to we get the ability to buy the ability to upgrade a unit because it kind of trickles it out over time because it's an already an overwhelming game uh in it at a base so like having that trickle in slowly is nice i don't mind meta progression in a non-roguelike i really don't it's just a it's a it's a campaign like it, it doesn't really bother me here i i enjoy it in this game um and then on top of that there's the 74 different levels and challenge modes to push your skills even further so there you go like there seems like there's so much stuff to do here so much content i i really enjoy it uh i i liked it a lot it's currently 15 percent off it is currently 8 49 um yeah i liked it a lot i i i am the exact target demographic for this game so like of course i'm gonna enjoy it a lot but hopefully it seemed interesting to you guys as well it seems like there is you are gonna know who, if you are the person who is interested in this it's got an overwhelming amount of potential different units and characters but if you're playing this it's it's like all the fun of learning a huge colossal set of a uh, like auto chess game but you get to play it single player so you actually feel like you could sit down and experiment with things try things out and see how they combine you don't have the pressure of like oh well i made a bad build i'm gonna get knocked out of this match like you can just you know re you, you can just restart try again everything like that you get to take all the time you want to plan out your build you don't have to wait for a timer uh, anything like that this is just so great what a beautiful wonderful combination of two wonderful wonderful genres thank you for watching though my name is retromation cover indie games every single day typically with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites this is a tower defense game and a auto chess game those are both genres that i cover frequently and often if they are things that you like especially if you like the concept of a very deep and meaty one or uh each individual one separately deep and meaty i love this genre and i will make sure that you do not miss anything that is serving up this game's energy the fact that we can go like different paths too like if you if you do a mission and it like kind of you feel sort of bopped by it you can just do a different one i really like that man i'm gonna play like i don't know if i'm gonna play more on youtube or not it's up to you guys if you're excited about it but i am going to play more of this off camera because i love it alas thank you for watching check out the channel it needs more every single day and i will see you next time bye